Yo guys, what's good and welcome back to this new episode. So today we are going to make a weather system for our game here. Um so in the last episode, if you did not check this out yet, uh we kinda made like these collectibles. Um I know the potions they don't really work right now. Um I mean you can pick pick them up but yeah, that's pretty much all to them. They should just get delivered in your inventory, but we are going to do this once we do the inventory. So let us just get right into it. So um, the first thing we actually want to do is to actually create the weather script, shall we? So we are going to insert a module script inside the server script service. And I'm gonna just call it map events. And yeah, in this module script, we are going to write a bit of stuff, so um, I'm gonna just call this script map events, I think. Yeah, and then we have to like kind of like write a diff a few variables. So, um, local tween service is the first one. Uh, I think should be the first one. Um. Oh wait, do we actually? Yeah. So. Uh, game call get service and then tween service. Uh, I'm gonna just do all the services and then I'm gonna be right back. So now that all the services are here, um, we can actually continue with something else which would be a folder because obviously we have to define a bit of stuff that we have to like kind of insert, right? So I'll just create a new folder in the replicate storage. And I will just call it weather context. You can of course uh, name it whatever you want. But uh, keep in mind that you have to also change it in the normal thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it normal. And in this normal folder I am just going to duplicate all the things you have in the light thing right now so then what you want to do is for every event that you are going to add I'm gonna just make the one event that we add right now windy and in this event I'm gonna make the sky I'm gonna just add a different sky so I'm gonna go to the toolbox I'm gonna search like for sky something then I'm gonna take like I don't know this sky here for the windy one so we know that it is a different thing so of course we want to get this folder so this would be local weather events folder and this would be equal to replicate storage and then the weather context um just like this uh then we got a few more things that would be local the world the world sounds is equal to and then sound service and dot music yeah and then the local um normal sound id normal sound id and this is equal to the id you put into the sound service and the music just copy this id out and paste it in uh so yeah then yeah what we're going to do then is under here the local event active fam uh this will be something like like we check we do an event every minute or something and then when we have an event that's lasting more than a minute like maybe it lasts like 100 seconds uh we basically update this value here uh, which by the way we have to set to nil um so yeah basically make it work so then local events this is where you add like all the events um oops so yeah so i'm gonna just do windy and that's the first event so then you put a few different variables so i'll put duration equal to 500 this is in seconds keep in mind then the chance of this happening this is again one in something so i'm gonna just put five uh, there for like showcasing 
and then the folder you actually have to put the folder so that would be weather con weather events folder and then the windy and then the sound i would just put a random sound that i found here i think it's the same one as ae just has so and then color is equal to color three then not from rgb and then i would just put like nice blue something like this maybe yeah i think this is good oh we missed a comma here okay and of course you can add as much uh, events as you want so then uh, we of course want to have a function that selects a random event right so we are going to add function and then map events and then dot i'm gonna just do start event selection um and of course we cannot start this by itself so we are going to add a server script inside the map events and what we are going to do is a uh, script we are going to do local um local module um it's equal to require then we put script parent and then we are going to do module and then dot start event selection that is what we are going to do so just this code and this will work so um then here we are going to add a loop that means a while true do so um and then we get the local so then we of course have to make the random thing first so we are going to do another function it's going to be called function map events and then dot random biome yeah which would be like the random event uh you can just call this function whatever you want and then local random number uh, random number is equal to math.random and then one and then comma here you are going to put the maximal thing so if your rarest event is one in 500 then you put 500 here if your rarest event is one in five then you put five here makes sense i'm gonna just put like five here because my rarest event is five and yeah so then um for the event name and the events in the pairs uh events uh we are going to actually do something um like the random thing so if random number is actually less or equal to then of course we want to put the max amount here so 500 and then we're gonna divide this by the event dot chance then um i'm gonna just warn something here uh what we're going to do here is we want to actually apply the events so i'm gonna leave this out for now and then we want to return the event name um and then the event dot duration and the events the chance just like this um that's pretty much it and then the next thing we're going to need is oh wait we can actually call this function right now so local name um and duration and chance is equal to map events and then dot random bio so and then if name and duration then local message is equal to string dot format and then you could can put like a random message here and we just put like server and then map events then i'm put like the name of the event and then like the name and then I'm gonna put started, I think. Um, and then enjoy the 
event pour and then I'm put like the duration here and then like seconds here so we know that the event actually started it so um again done um if 500 again you have to update this like every time you change something um is less than or equal to one then we want to do replicate storage dot remote uh, dot messages and then the global and then come fire or fire our clients with the message and else we want to copy this whole thing and basically just change global to server then what we are going to do here is if active event time it's not equal to nil should probably also zoom in a bit uh, then await active event time and then we just put like two seconds as a buffer and then else uh, I would just wait for the normal time so this would be 60 so quick explanation if there is a event right now we are going to wait the event time plus two seconds just for it to load and if there is no event currently active we are just going to wait the normal 60 seconds i'm gonna just decrease this to like five seconds uh for testing purposes and yeah that's pretty much it um then what we are going to do next is we want to actually apply some events so we would want two functions that would be local function apply event and this would take the event duration and then the folder the sound and the color and then we want to actually get another event which would be called apply default and then we want another event that would be going to be called clear let me just delete all this out here I'm going to call this clear and we can actually do this first so for every option and then in a lighting uh, call get children um, do and we want to do option call and destroy so what this would do is when we call the function it will check in the lighting and destroy every single object because if we want to use another uh, event we kind of have to destroy the lighting to get the old the new one in. but then for the apply default uh, we want to get the folder of this so local normal weather would be equal to weather events folder dot normal of course then we want to clear and then for every asset in weather events folder dot normal um, normal and call get children and do local clone is equal to asset and call clone and then clone the parent is of course the lighting because we want it to be in the lighting uh, so then the next thing is <clears throat> sorry is of course the sound so world sound and then the sonity is equal to and then we of course need to do this id thing because otherwise it will not work so rbx asset id colon slash slash and then what we want to put here is the normal sound id so then we actually want to update some values um so in the replicator storage you just want to add a string value and then you want to call this one selected selected weather just like this this is called selected weather and in this one you're going to create another string value inside and you're going to call this name and you drag it inside then you're going to add a color 3 value also inside and this one you're going to be called uh, color so they have selected weather name and color 
So then we actually want to update those right here. And then local weather data. So weather data is equal to uh, also some people have been wondering why my intro and outro have been kind of missing uh, in the last video. Uh, this is kind of crazy. This is like kind of copyrighted music. Uh, so video will not be monetized then. So I, I have to cook up something new for the intro then. Uh, but yeah, just give me a few days. Um, yeah, we want to set the value to normal. Uh, why is this? Oh, there shouldn't be an if here. Oh no. If weather data. Here, just like this. I want to paste this here. Um, and then we want to do the same thing for the color. Um, Pentacle shell of color. Dot value. And thus, um, this one we want to put a color three and not from RGB and then just 2 for 5, 1, 2 for 5, 2 for 5, just like this. Um, so this is actually the thing for the apply default. We can kind of copy all this and paste it into the apply event one um, because we kind of want to do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to just put another warning at the top so we know the event got applied. Uh, you can of course copy this if you want. Yeah, so then um, we of course have the folder, so we don't need to get the folder. So then we are of course going to clear the event. Um, and then here you're going to put folder. And the same thing remains. And this one is the sound. Just like this. And then we want to set the event active time equal to the the rage just like this uh, then the weather data uh, remains the same and then we're going to put path.delay path.delay and we're going to delay this by the duration and we get a function and then we want to warn that the active event got removed so we removed active world event And then we want to apply default. Just like this. And this should probably work perfectly. I am quickly checking. Oh, actually it's not. Because you have to insert something which you can find on my Discord server. Just give me a second while I upload it. So I quickly uploaded it. So when you head to my Discord server, which is in the description of this video, uh, you will actually see this here. So part eight, just download this and insert it to your studio. I will quickly show you, um, explain how you can do this. Basically download the file, then right click onto workspace and press insert from file. And then just select the file and you are, um, yeah, it's working. Uh, so also, um, a quick advertisement so if you want to buy the file and not actually have to write all the stuff uh, you can of course do this in my discord server just um yeah buy the shirt and dm me your username and then you will get the role to see this channel here and yeah then you have to file so uh back to roblox um so yeah we basically want to insert this thing. Uh, so I have it already, of course. Um, so I'm gonna just delete, delete the existing menu I and paste into the new one. As you can see, there's a new thing here. I can quickly explain to you what it is. Um, so in the weather, we have three different things. This is the daytime, the time, and the weather. There's three scripts in them, which are actually explained. Okay, so here we are going to get the text label, so basically the script of parent, and the lighting. And then we get a function here, which this, it basically adjusts the text and the color of the text label to either day or night. This time thing here, 
is a bit more complex. Well, it's not complex, but it's a bit more complex than the previous one. This is just getting the time and then converting the timestamp to AM or PM. The weather here is just getting the text label from the replicate storage, uh, the selected weather, name and color, and it basically changes them corresponding to this thing. So, um, the last thing we actually need to do is to um, the, like make auras be only achievable on certain events. So we are going to do this in the aura data folder, uh, not folder, but script. So I'm gonna just put for the, so we are going to add a new thing here, which is going to be called weather. It's going to be called an event. So I'm gonna just do this event as a windy. So this is not required. You can put this for a single aura and leave it out for another. So for Aegis, I now put the weather requirement to windy. So if it's windy, like we put in the event here, windy, um, then we can get the thing. So we can also put another requirement, which is time. And this is equal to maybe day or night. So this can be day or night. I'll just put this to day. And this means we can only get the showcase aura at daytime. So then we are going to implement this into the spin server, into the choose aura. So um, that's also the only function we have to change for today. And yeah, so what we are going to do here is to make it easier. Um, so let me just check. Uh, here we are going to make another table, which is going to be called local valid auras. And it's going to be equal to a table. Okay. So then we get three new values. So local current time. So local current time is equal to game dot lighting dot clock time. And then the local is daytime. is equal to um, current time um, is greater or equal than 6 and current time is greater than 18 and day or night um, oh I yeah okay so perfect so this sets it either to day or night. Um, then the local selected weather is equal to replicate storage dot selected weather and then call find first shelf name and then dot dot value. Just like this. Um, then what you want to do here is you want to kind of modify this. So we can kind of delete this out here and we want to put a few things. So local meets um, meets time requirement requirement is equal to not our other time or our other time is equal is daytime. So it will check if it has an order the time and if it has, it's going to be equal to its daytime. We are going to do the same thing basically for the weather. So meet weather requirement. And then if not aura dot weather, just paste this in here and then a selected weather. Just, just like this. And then if aura, the chance uh, and meets time requirement and meets weather requirement, then local adjusted chance will be equal to aura the chance um, chance um, then like this upper thing here like this one um, and then one and then 
I don't know that luck. So yeah. And then if it just a chance then with the local entry value is equal to one and divided by the adjusted chance. And then uh, we want to do table.insert adjusted entries. And we want to insert the entry value and table of insert into the uh, valid auras and the aura. Um, then we want to do total entries is equal to total entries and then times entry value. So then else we just um, we just put a warning here. So then here in the else one, that's just for like debugging if something is wrong. Um, yeah, so then here, down here, we also want to do a bit of stuff. Um, the first thing we want to do here is um, if total entries is equal to zero, then we want to return nil. And I'm also at a warning here that no valid auras. Um, the descendants of or conditions um, have been uh, chosen. Then I'm gonna just put another debug here, just like this. Uh, then the random entry and the cumulative entry can stay. And then here for every intake index and entry value, we'll change this. In the adjusted in the adjusted entries um, this is actually plus equal the entry value and then if random entry is less than the cumulative entry then uh, we want to put the local selected aura so aura is equal to then valid auras, and then we want to index it with the index. And then if selected aura, then, and then we can like set the attributes here. So just set the attributes here um, with the select aura. And then we can return all these different things here. Which would then be the selected or the name, selected or the chance, selected or the text color, and selected or the text font. Um, if this is not working, then we can just put this here as a fallback, which is just going to return nil. Yeah, this is pretty much it. We can test it out real quick to see if it works. So every five seconds, there will be an event selected, as you can see event selected windy and that actually starts the event as you can see this is pretty much working so the event gets selected and then instantly gets destroyed after five seconds um, uh, but there is something not working with the event label here um let me see why mm. let me quickly remove this warn here okay so this gets updated but for some reason, the weather label isn't there. Have I accidentally deleted it? Maybe. I did not. So why isn't it there? Let me see. So player, and then my player GUI, the main GUI, 
the order and the order is actually there but it just does not have a tax um i think we kind of missed the line let's quickly check if we can roll and we cannot roll okay so this is kind of buggy um let us quickly check why this is happening okay so we have some sort of error in the map events so let me quickly check there again let me go through here if we missed anything so this all seems fine here so we have all the different things um the clear function seems fine too um this one seems to be fine too or does it oh here we actually have to put the event active time uh equal to nil so then let me check if there is something right here uh, wrong here i mean um this all seems fine okay ah uh, here we have to here apply the default of course and also in the random thing we have to uh if it's not selecting an event um, we'll just print no event selected and then we are going to return nil just like this um, and then I think that this was it um, yeah probably uh, so it selected the event and now it is normal Oh yeah, I think because the chance is too low. Uh, so in the map events, I will just put like 500 here and then like 500 here too. Um, yeah, just like this. So now it is normal. You see, no event got selected. Um, no event got selected again. Let us actually see if the. Okay, so this is not working. Let me see if the weather settings work. So, yeah, this is working now. But the only thing that's not working is actually the things getting updated. So, there is something wrong in the apply event. Um, oh, my bad. We have to actually put this to the, um, to the event and this one to the color. My bad. I'm sorry. Uh, so, and now hopefully all the bugs will finally be fixed and we can not roll for some reason. Let me check if there is something wrong. Um, firstly, let me see if this is now getting updated perfectly. So we did not select a weather up till now. Um, it's already been 34 minutes already. I uh, hope this video is not too long. A windy event got selected and still this does not get updated. Why doesn't it? um that is very weird let me check uh apply event oh okay well we actually have to apply the event shall we so apply event and then we want to apply the event with the event name 
the event dot duration um the event dot folder the event dot sound and the event dot color just like this and now this should finally work no event got selected um again nothing got selected um so can we roll now too we cannot so this is still buggy but we will get to this in just a second so this now is hopefully updating correctly let us quickly wait for the windy event to be selected Also, nothing of this is really getting updated right now. I wonder why. This is very weird now. Okay, now the windy event is actually applied though, so this is good. But the time does not change. That is weird. So let us check into the thing here again. So in the time script here. Um, oh yeah, we should actually make the thing go, like, to change it, right? This would be very good, so let me check. Yeah, we probably should do this here, I think. Yeah. So we are going to go into the server script. And in here, like below the wait time, uh, I'm gonna just put local and then time per second. I'm gonna just put this equal to 224 divided by 1200, uh, which would be a full cycle of 24 hours in 1200 seconds, so 20 minutes. You can put this to 600, which is a full day in Roblox with last 10 minutes and just put it to 20 minutes um then local function and then manage day night cycle um then while true do and wait one and then lighten um oh we have to of course get the light thing then a lighting dot clock time is equal to lighting dot clock time plus time per second and this one percent by 24 and then we want to spawn the manage day night cycle and now this will finally work and then we only have to fix the bug um yeah, as you can see, now this moves here. We can still not press on the roll button, sadly. Uh, but we are going to fix this now. Um, but the event is working, so that is very good. Um, and yeah, it should despawn any second now. Otherwise, there is something wrong with it. How long do we set the duration again? Oh yeah, we set it 500. So this is going to work. Um, and then we are going to change the choose aura function again. Um, let me quickly try something um, with the choose aura function. Well, let me quickly paste it in my other client. And let me check if it, if it works now. If it works now, you can find this in my discord server and yeah now it works uh so yeah you can find the choose aura function in my discord server too uh, but if you have no access to discord or something i will just quickly show you what you have to write um so starting here i'm just make this a bit smaller um so yeah, that is the whole function I'm gonna just go 
group very slowly so you can copy it. But yeah, this will also be in my Discord server. So yeah, I'm gonna just paste it right into it. So I will not forget it. Um, then paste this here. And then upload it as a file. And then this is the choose choose aura um, part 8 just like this and yeah so that was pretty much it for this video if you have any ideas on what I can cover in the next videos please let me know um, and yeah that was pretty much it uh, we are also going to fix like a lot of bugs soon like making the last aura you had equipped like be displayed uh, again when you join so yeah this is going to be good uh, then um, if you have any other ideas on what i can add just let me know in the comments or in my discord server and yeah i think that was pretty much it and see you in the next one